So The Babysitter Killer Queen is a sequel to The Babysitter that were both directed by Mick G, the guy behind the older Charlie's Angels films and the half-decent Terminator Salvation. The film's cast consists of a bunch of no-names to faces you've seen but can't place. The film starts off two years later and again follows Cole. After the first film's events, his parents, his friends think he's a nutcase and send him off to a psych ward. He's put on meds and he sees a counselor. One night, a girl he's attracted to convinces him to come out and join a party. Hey, if a hot girl invites you out, you go. And the film starts from there. The film tries to play out more like a teen rom-com film, but fails without the lack of interesting characters. The horror aspect comes about a half an hour in. It follows a million other film plots and twists you can see a mile away. They try and use pop culture references to keep the film relevant to its fan base. There are references from Terminator to Friday the 13th, but I feel those were really overused. The film had its one moment where I thought things were getting really interesting. A what the fuck moment happens and it literally the only thing that could keep my full attention for about three to five minutes. Some characters in the scene reappear from the first installment, but again, they're all just two-dimensional characters. They serve their purpose and disappear. This felt like a really bad horror film from the 80s and 90s, and the spoof films from Scary Movie to Not Another Teen Movie. It's very much the style of those films, characters, and plot development. Uh, for me, it lacked the power to keep my interest, I kept wanting to go on my phone or walk away or do something else. But I can see this film collecting a lot of fan base and being a really bad cult hit. So I admire its potential for that. I get this film wasn't meant to be taken seriously. It's supposed to be a fun film, but it really lacked imagination and creativity. It's your run-of-the-mill, paint-by-numbers movie. The only interesting character was the counselor you briefly see in the beginning and at the end of the film. He acted like someone you'd smoke a joint with and believe that every word you said was pretty rad. There's nothing much else to say here. It's bland, it's dull. I can't recommend this film, so skip it and maybe watch Ernest Scared Stupid or something. If you agree or disagree, put a comment down below me. And can anybody tell me who the killer queen was in the film? <laughs>